Hey everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this angel stitch. So I'm really happy to be bringing this stitch back to, uh, to reteach it again because when I first taught this there was no HD cameras available to the public so I have I think a webcam I filmed it on. It wasn't the best but I wanted to show you this stitch so I made this bigger piece so you guys could really see what this stitch looked like and how textured it was. I know there's a lot of uh, holes and stuff in it but uh, the, the, re the reason why I call it angel stitch is because of what it looks like to me. It looks like there's, it's a little angel. Like there's the, um, the dress and then that's the arms and that's the head. I don't know. It's not easy naming these stitches. But anyway, uh, it's a very unique looking stitch though, so I always liked it. Uh, oh, I also did it in variegated too, if you wanted to see what it looked like. It really works up. Very interesting. And since it is kind of like a double row, it uh, definitely goes through the color changes really nicely. So you can do this stitch using any size hook and any size yarn that, I should say any size yarn and any size hook that the yarn recommends. So go ahead and grab your hook and yarn and we'll get started. The multiples of this stitch is four. So you want to go ahead and chain in multiples of four, 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 and then when you reach your desired width, then you can begin row one. Okay, to do the angel stitch, you need to begin by yarning over and going into the fourth chain from the hook. So insert your hook in that fourth chain and pull up a loop. I'll get a little closer for you. Then you want to yarn over, go into the next chain, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, go into the next chain and pull up a loop. Do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the next chain and pull up a loop. You'll have nine loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and only go through eight of those nine loops, leaving the last one on your hook, giving you two loops on your hook. Then you want to yarn over and pull through those final two loops. And it will create this little hole here on top, which is what we're going to be using to complete the stitch. In that little hole, you want to, to put four single crochets. I'm working one, two, three, and four. And that completes the stitch. Now you won't be skipping any stitches. So find that very next chain that has not been worked yet and yarn over and go into that first chain. You use a total of four chains. So this is your first time. You yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then fourth and final time you'll yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Sorry for that noise outside. I think my cat's out there going nuts. So you should have nine loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through eight of those nine loops, leaving that last loop on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through the last two loops, which will create the hole, and you'll put four single crochets worked in that hole. And without skipping a stitch, going right into the next one, remember you're going to be using the next four stitches. Yarn over, go into the first one, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the next one. And just keep repeating that until you've got all four of your chains giving you nine loops on your hook, pull through eight, pull through two, and then you'll put four single crochets worked into that space. And you want to just keep repeating this all the way to the end of your row, and I'll show you how to end row one. Okay, I'm just finishing up my last angel stitch of the row and you should have one chain left and then that last chain you're going to put a double crochet and that will end row one. Okay for row two and this will this row two will be what you'll repeat now over and over again 
So for row two, you'll chain three, turn, You'll always have a chain three at the beginning and you'll always end your row in the, the very last double crochet or single, I uh, should say, the top of the chain three. You'll always put a double crochet there. So to do the angel stitch on the second row is that you'll be using those four single crochets that you put in this middle section here. So you'll, I'm sorry, you have to yarn over first. So we're going to do just like we did before. We're going to go into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And then the final one is always kind of weird and not easy to get into. It depends on how uh, hard you pull through this, the two loops, which I'll show you here in a minute. You should have nine loops on your hook. Pull through eight of them, and this is what I'm talking about. Depending on how tight you pull this, depends on how tight this last stitch will be here on the end. Once you get used to it, you'll do it kind of loose and it won't be such an issue. So pull through the two, and then you'll put four double, uh, sorry, four single crochets in that space. And then you're going to be skipping that big old space right here, and you're going to be going into the tops of your next. So yarn over, skipping this big stitch, you're going to go right into that first single crochet. I'm sorry, don't pull through the loops. <laughs> and uh, you pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next one, pull up a loop. And you'll do that for the next two stitches as well. Again, nine loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through eight of those loops, and then pull through the final two loops. And then again, you'll work four single crochets in that space you just made. Then again, yarn over, skipping that big stitch, you're going to go right into the next one. And do your yarn over, grabbing up your loops as you go through your four stitches there. Nine loops on your hook, pull through eight of those pull through the final two and work your single crochets, four single crochets in that stitch. So go ahead and continue this down your row for row two. Again, I'm just finishing my last angel stitch of my row. And then you want to double crochet in the top of the chain three. And then you'll just keep repeating row two again and again. So you'll begin by chaining three and turning and then again, you'll yarn over and start going into your very first of four single crochets. Like you were just doing for the row before, for row two. And again, making the angel stitch just like you did. It's a very easy stitch and it really comes out looking really nice. So that's it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to click like and share. It helps me out so much. Also, if you always want to be notified when I release a new tutorial, you can go to my main YouTube page and right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell button and you can click that and I'll always let you know whenever I release something new. So that's it guys. Oh, also, uh, I have a group on Facebook. I have several groups on Facebook and I'm everywhere on social media. Please look down below. You can find all the places that I am. Also, the link to the pattern uh, will be down below. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching.